is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. Dang it. <laughs> it's my turn. The 4th of July is right around the corner and celebrations are happening all over Central Illinois in the next few weeks. I love live TV. Here to share all the details you need to know about the Champaign County Freedom Celebration, we have Lana Barco and Gus White joining us. I have so many great memories that surround the Champaign County Freedom Celebration and I always look forward to it every year. It's crazy that we're almost there, yes. but let's talk about all that's planned this year. Yeah. Um, we are actually back to our full program this year. Um, we are going to have our 5K, our parade, and our evening program with the fireworks to conclude everything. So it's really exciting to be back full swing. Yeah, Gus, what are you most excited about? The fireworks. I've been in charge of the fireworks the last five years. Oh, wow. So that's my part of the gig, and I just, I love it. Well, you're a firefighter, yes. so it's appropriate that you would be helping man the fire, fireworks station. Um, what makes Champagne's fireworks so spectacular? It's, it's, the, it's, because we, we get large fireworks, large quality, quali qualities of fireworks that makes them so huge. And they just, I'd probably say they're the best show I've seen in the last 10 years I've been around. Wow. You can see them from like anywhere too, yes. which yeah. is so cool. But where is the best place to see them? It'd be a lot E31, which is a grass lot right across the street from E14, which is where they are getting shot from. Um, there's, like I said, there's live music there. So right at the live music, you get to listen to the music soundtrack that we have put on by our park technicians and they are shot from the lot right across the street so you can see them and it's just so beautiful from there. It's, it's Bring amazing. that big blanket. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's so fun. Okay, so I know that the 4th of July is like on a Monday. So when are all the festivities beginning? It is happening that Monday on July 4th. Okay. So um, starting at uh, 8.30 with our youth run followed by the 5K at 9.05 and then we'll kick off the parade at 11.05. Ooh, what a great way to kick off the 4th of July with a little sweat in there. Yeah. Now, for registration purposes, is it open until the day of? Can you just show up or do you need to do it ahead of time? For the 5K, you can um, register all the way to the day of. The parade, we will take registrations um, closer to the day, but we would like to be able to get it oh, in yeah. the, within this next week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, registrations are still open and we'd love anybody to come and help. Yeah, and it sounds like we're putting a call out for more parade entrants yes. um, so that we can have one of the biggest, best parades here in Champaign of course, County. Yes. Um, specifically, some music. I hear we're, we're putting the call out for some high school bands to maybe come participate. Yes, definitely. We would love to have them um, come and participate. I know I, I did the parade one year as a, in the Champaign Central Band, and it was a great, fun time. Um, and we want people to come back and be able to do that again. Yeah, so. absolutely. Now, kind of being back in full swing after what the past couple years has looked like, have there been new obstacles that you guys have been facing getting back in the full swing of things? Yes, for sure. I mean, COVID has taken a toll on us. Um, of course, you know, back in 2019, we couldn't have the show. 2020, sorry, correction. 2020, we couldn't have the show. 2021, we had the fireworks only. So what does happen the full show this year, we're excited. And the problem is, you know, just our funds are not there. So, I mean, if you want to donate, just go to july4th.net backslash donate and donate there. Um, we, we just, we're, we're pushing for a, a brand new show almost. You know, it's, you know, we got a new power technician company which is bought out from the old fireworks guys that we had. Um, but everything else, I mean, it's pretty much the same. I mean, the same same parade, 5K, everything's the same. And we, this year we're having the Crazy Johnny Band, which is now taken over as Johnny and the um, 11th Hour is what it's called, which they'll be kicking off at our main stage at 7 o'clock in the lot 31, which is a grass field right across from E14. Well, and he puts on a great show. We're big Crazy Johnny fans here, but we also need volunteers to make sure that this yes. event runs smoothly without any hiccups. Yes, we definitely need volunteers. We need volunteers all day long. Um, the 5K needs them, um, the parade. We have parade marshals and all sorts of different um, things to be able to do. We also have um, volunteer opportunities on the third as well as the fifth as well. So to be able to do set up and clean up too. Yeah. That's important. Well, I know yeah. there's a lot of kids out there who need to get in some service hours yes. over the summer. So this would be the best opportunity to ha to get involved and yes. um, get those in and, and have fun at the same time. Exactly. Yeah, festive My fun. goodness. Good yes. Stuff. Well, there's so much happening. The theme this year, renewing the spirit of America. I love it. Thank and you if too. you want to learn a little bit more about everything happening with the Champaign County Freedom Celebration, including that spectacular fireworks show that we can't wait to see Gus's fingerprints all over, <laughs> um, we will have those links at CA Living TV. We appreciate Carriage Crossing Senior Living for sponsoring our segment today. Still to come.